Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 20th of 2022. Well, it is titled Planet Line over New York Bridge. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see the RFK Triborough Bridge uh, that is visible in New York City. And up above in the sky, you will see a few different stars there or what look like stars. In fact, a line of stars going from the lower left to the upper right. And they don't stand out tremendously, but we can actually label them for you. And those are not stars, but actually four planets. So four of the five planets known to ancient astronomers are visible in a nice line in this one image. So here we see off to the left the largest planet in the solar system and that would be Jupiter. Then we see the brightest object in the brightest star like object at least in the sky. So other than our sun and moon Venus is the next brightest object. And then just up to that fainter is the planet Mars. And then finally to the upper right is Saturn. So here we note all of the planets in a line. Now that's not actually unusual because the planets follow along a path called the ecliptic. Now the ecliptic is the apparent path of the sun in the sky. And it's really just a reflection of the Earth's motion around our sun. So because we're on the Earth moving around the sun, we see it as the sun moving around us. And it follows a path through the sky. And the planets all follow the same path because the solar system is very flat. And if you've ever drawn a solar system on a piece of paper, that really isn't all that far from reality. The solar system is extremely thin. Now actually, yeah, they are slightly tilted. So there are some slight tilts to the planetary orbits. And if you tried to draw a straight line through these four, you'd find that you could not do that, that there would be a little bit off because they're not quite on the same line. You can easily, of course, get any two points on a straight line. But you will find if you do that, that one of the other points will be a little bit above or below that line. So that's because the orbits are all a little bit tilted, but they will follow roughly the same path. And were the sun or, or moon visible in this image, they would also be along that same general path. In fact, if you look at as the sky is brightening here uh, in this before dawn image, and if you look down towards the lower left hand side, down below the horizon, there would be the sun following this same line of uh, of objects through the sky. So here we can see this and you can watch this over the next month or two. And in June, we will actually have all five planets visible. And that will include the planet Mercury. So all five planets known to the ancients, and the five planets that can be seen with the naked eye will all be visible in the morning sky. And following that line, the path that is the plane of our solar system that we call the ecliptic. So that was our picture of the day for April 20th of 2022. It was titled Planet Line over New York Bridge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.